Hello everyone, this is Robert again, coming at you with another video. For today's video, I will be making arrowheads out of this metal. Now this was old, an old um, seed catchers for our old, our old um, bird cage. We have an African gray parrot and they never really worked because she was able to throw the food past these seed catchers. So, I mean, these were supposed to be mounted on the cage. The seed was supposed to fall down and go back into the cage. See, the bird was able to get them past it. So, we took them off. We never used them again. So, and this is very strong metal. I can hardly bend this, really. So, I'm going to try to make arrowheads out of this metal. Now, this is, going to, this is going to be for a repurposing challenge for a Facebook group, Bushcraft Survival Preppers Outdoors group. And they're having a contest, the monthly challenge contest for repurposing item. Repurposing an item to make something completely different out of it. So, I decided to take this, make a little template of the, out of this cardboard, and cut all, cut all arrow, arrow heads out of this. Now I have four of these seed catchers. And I'd say they're about four feet long. Well, so, two of them are about four feet, two of them are about three feet. But, well, I'll get started on this. I mean, this, this edge right here is nice and smooth. So, I'll start on this. I my Sharpie. First, I'll draw out. the arrowhead on here. And that's a little hard to see, but put my gloves on because this is probably going to be sharp when I cut it until I smooth it out and well, sharpen up where the blade is. Now I have these big straight metal cutting shears or cutting snips. Now, if you can see, I'm using both hands because this is how hard this metal is. It, how strong this metal is. Finished cutting this piece out, trimming it, trimming around here and everything for the where the arrowhead is, and I'll get back back with, right with you. And here it is. 
I mean, it's not the prettiest arrowhead. It is pretty big. I could cut it down further over here to shape it out more. Now, I, ha I have these three that I've done with another one that I've had. So I have these three. Now this one, now this one has this part right here on the bottom, and these don't. Now I was thinking, I mean you can tell how much wider this one is. Now I was thinking for this, when you slide it into the stick, this part, this part over here will stick out. Then you have a the stick this length, so you when you're wrapping the cordage around to hold the arrowhead into the stick, this will be like sticking out a little bit. But I'll try this. I'll try these three also. I'm gonna get my I'm gonna sharpen this up. See if it can sharpen to a nice fine edge and then I'll touch it out on some paper see how this does Now, I'm using one of these sharpening stones from the dollar store. It's cheap dollar, dollar stone, homemade arrowhead. Might as well ruin this instead of ruining, ruining my more expensive sharpening stone. Now, it did a pretty good job of sharpening it up. Now, I, I did not sharpen these up, so it's still pretty dull right on the side right here. But this one did sharpen up a little bit. The point is very sharp. I had to watch out for the point because the point is the penetration part of it. not that that sharp. It's not as sharp as it's supposed to be, but, but, oh well. For a homemade makeshift arrow, out of scrap metal from, uh, bird seed catchers. Now I have four of these, so I'm going to be able to make quite a few arrowheads out of this repurposed metal. I'm not going to do it all in one sitting because I'll end up getting copper tunnel and that hurts. <laughs> 
So, I'll sharpen this up more. I'll sharpen these three up. And next time I'm in the woods, making another bundle bow and some arrows, I'll strap these on and I'll test them out. So, this was my video submission for uh, repurposed item repurposing challenge for the Bushcraft Survival Preppers Outdoors group on Facebook. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on my next video. This is Robert. Thank you for watching.